Bill, what's the last thing you remember from the last game? Uh, failing to make a vow. Yeah, man, that was definitely unfortunate. But hey, all you gotta do is leave the planet, and you can uh, you can get started on that vow at the very least. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> all right. I think Dave. we made a lot of vow progress uh, last week. Yeah, I, I I feel like you guys had moved moved along in a fair clip there. So, Dave, what's the last thing you remember before? Uh, Bill fell to make a, uh, a vow. Face holding up a big slab of twitching skate meat, saying, mm-hmm. what the hell's going on here? Yep, that uh, that certainly sounds like it's going to be an issue. Mm-hmm. Margie, anything else? I don't know, maybe we're just filling the larder for her. Maybe she's going to thank us, or not. Meat's back on the menu, boys! Possibly. I mean, who, who, who likes twitchy meat? Well, it won't be twitching for long, will it? That's a... That's a wonderful question. So, yeah. it's probably not a bad place to pick back up. So, you guys are in Navarin. You have just gotten off the shuttle. And so that gives us been... some kind of bonus, right? What's that? that? That's some kind of bonus, being off the shuttle? Yep, uh, which you guys should have done last time. It basically gives you all one uh, uh, momentum. Okay. But, uh, yep, so you guys have stepped off the shuttle and have been greeted with faith with this uh, bit of pulsating meat, which is odd, given that uh, you guys shot that thing like two days ago at this point. Well, or at least we dropped a meteor on it two days ago. Yeah, shot, dropped a meteor. It's just a question of what your ammunition is. I expected it to be dead. How's that? Yeah, no, that fairly certain. Well, that doesn't seem right. No, it certainly does not. Well, one of the things that I had asked about from the data nodes was to to get more information about the, the lore, local flora and fauna, and in particular the skate. So I don't know if Earl was able to, to transfer any of that over yet, but that would definitely be a priority for me. Well, that is definitely something you might have been able to go over when you were in the shuttle. True. Possibly, like, you know, he's taking whatever information he could find, threw it onto, like, a, uh, some sort of tablet, and as right. you guys were, as you guys had, like, your nice leisurely flyover, you could have, like, gone through and skimmed it. So that sounds like something Nails would have done. Uh, definitely, since that's the direction we were heading, and that's important to me. You know, right. and, my, and my whole, you know, my whole plan for for creating equity and parity between the the, the uh, you know, towns, whatever we want to call them. Well, so, as well as trying to understand the biology of the skates. Yes, yes. So you have to understand the biology before you can form them. Yep. So <laughs> that sounds like it would be a gather information check on your end. Okay. So that is a wits roll. Oh, I accidentally closed that. I hate when I do that. Like you have your you have your character up and manage to close it instead of yeah. Mm-hmm. I will say um, since this information would have came from the uh, Navaran data, I, I'll say since you have a you know since you have a bond with them, it's you can probably get like a plus one on there from the. Well, bonus that's that's from good because if it's wits, anything will help. Yep. <laughs> As you well know. Nails is a lot of things, but Woody is not one of them. Woohoo! That's I'll a, take that. That's a weak hit. <laughs> All right. So uh, on a weak hit, the information provides new insight, but also introduces a complication. Um, uh, and take plus one moment. Okay. So, um, yeah, as you've gone through all of this data that you've been given, um, it definitely seems as though the existing information on it and what you guys have seen doesn't add up one for one. Um, something has gone, like, something has definitely changed in the time between the gates closed and now. Among okay. other things, um, the data you have on them, uh, they definitely did not eat um, Metal. whatever or inorganic material they could find. Interesting. So, and I'm guessing is, they weren't the size of a house either. They weren't the size of the of a house. So, 
something has definitely changed with these things between then and now. And unfortunately, That's really weird because it's like way too short for evolution. You know. Yes. Oh. Yes, it is. So it uh, ain't I, natural. What are you gonna do about it? I would definitely say you're 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 at least on your way to understanding the biology okay. of landscapes. I went ahead and marked that for you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think that that wow, not dead. That's that's gonna take some looking at. Um, is is it like has it is it dangerous? Like you know, hurt anybody or is it just creepy? Um, from what you're able to get from Faith. Uh, it hasn't hurt anybody yet. They've they've been going through it and collecting what they can out of it. Uh, these pe these folks are definitely you know scavengers. So so they're actually ex getting the metal out or the meat or both. Yes. Okay. Hey, I I you know local taste. No. Um, yeah. However, they're quite worried about the fact that uh, uh, a lot of this a lot of this is uh, still moving. Yeah, that that's not a good thing. I like. Was it always still moving, or did it like stop moving and then start moving? Well, they're not sure. They only got they they only went to the uh, to the crater um, after it stopped. Uh, you know, after it stopped smoking. Fair enough. So. Fair enough. Okay. They have a they have a very limited idea on this. Okay, so I will. Um, how how far out is the the crater? I mean, it, it's like short walking distance right oh yeah yeah, you, okay. yeah a minute or two of walking and you'll get over to it and you can okay. see you know the uh navarans are already like you know some of them are scrambling up some of them are going in there like you know you've okay. got probably a dozen or two um pe of people just like in and around this crater you mean mariposans yes yes i do okay <laughs> Okay, uh, so if if the rest of the group doesn't mind, I'll definitely focus on um, you know seeing seeing what I can can glean, um, you know, out there at the vault. I mean, sort of out there, because I know that the Blaze and and Cortex um, and I think Earl all have things they want to do down in the vault. Um, I'll I'll try and smooth things over with um, you know Faith as much as possible. You know, tell her I'll go check it out right away. And I've been, you know, reading up on the skates, and this is, you know, this is def definitely something, yes, freaky. But um, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely be working on that right away. Yes, ma'am. All right. I'll take Elijah with me. Okay. So, as the two of you are heading over to examine the the crater, um, Bill, Dave, what are what are uh, Blazing Cortex doing? No, no, no. I have, I'm a little I'm a little bit loose end, so I if if Cortex needs my help for something, I will help him. Otherwise, I will help Nails in the giant skate situation. Uh, if you want to help the giant skate, that's cool. Uh, I certainly got something you can you can do for me though. What's that? Uh, I need to figure out like what other um, ships or platforms or orbital things or whatever might be in the system. So. Uh, Unless somebody tells me they need the shuttle real quick, I'm taking off. I could use a navigator to help me plot all this shit out. Um, well, fortunately you have one right here. Um, Nails, is it going to be a problem if we uh, take the shuttle to check some things out? Long as long as you come if I yell. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll be here uh, as as quickly as we, back here as quickly as we can uh, make it happen. Um, I would suggest not not in her hearing, but I would suggest to see if there is anything that. We could bring. I mean, I'm assuming we're going up to the ship, not just into orbit. Yep. Or are we going yeah. To... Yeah. If we if we if we hit the ship, then I will take advantage of that to see what sort of medical supplies we can uh, free up. I, I was going to say if we had some some kind of grocery list that was needed. Um, do we have the right tools to to be able to kind of understand more about you know the 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 chemistry or the composition of? Would a saw help? Cutting torches. So, I, 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 I'll turn around and ask you guys, um, do you think you would have what you would need in order to examine uh, some sort of biological entity on the sh on the shuttle, or is that something that would be on the ship? I'm, I'm guessing that we can do the basics, but that, you know, anything more than, more than that would need to, to come down. Like, I have my med kit, 
and I can probably use that to do some basic biology. Um, but anything more, I think it's going to come down. On the other hand, you know, we're going to want to look at what the composition of the, the meteor is, because it might be useful, valuable, etc. cetera, um, or God forbid, contributing to the, the twitchy death of the, the skate. Um, so I'm, I'm guessing that we may have some, you know, something more advanced than a, you know, metal finding wand um, to, to use to kind of check out what the composition of the meteor might be. I think that sounds perfectly uh, in line with what you guys might have. Okay. So some sort of geological survey tool, at least yep. on a small scale. Yep. Yeah. Mostly, I think we're just going to go out there and poke at it with the, the rel- you know, with with the folks and see if see if anything makes sense. But. Uh... Yep. Yeah. I was going to say if you if you you know the at least just examining what the. Uh, the meteor is made out of that one sounds simple enough if you're thinking that you want to go like deep into the biology of the skate um eh, that one definitely sounds like it might be something where you might want to check your gear to see if you have something that would okay yeah because i don't have a box tick but one of the one of the points on the healer path is is being able to gather information by studying the medical evidence or the biological uh, remains. So, mm-hmm. but I don't have the tick on it, but I'm assuming it's something that I can do in some way or, or have some advantage on because of my healer background. Unless I'm totally misreading how these things work. No, like, those, those definitely sound like things you might be able to do. But it's whether or not you have the tools in order to do them is the other question. Yeah. So, um, yeah, if you want to see if you have something on the show for that, that's, uh, check your gear and that would be a supply roll luckily you guys managed to fill back up your supply in the last game so you're all the way uh, plus five that's at the top of your sheet right no i was just reading the 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 text for check your gear okay um everybody okay with that sure and that's a straight roll right uh yep roll with supply all right so um so you, you have it uh However, it's either going to take quite a bit of the, you know, you're going to have to grab a bunch of things off the shuttle, in which case it's going to drop your supply by one, or it's just going to take you a while to get everything set up, in which case uh, it's going to be uh, two momentum. Well, I feel guilty since I'm not one who can actually add to the supply of things, so I think I would probably be more likely to just head my way through it and, and lose the momentum and just as opposed to actually try and you know i don't i don't want to take anything that belongs in the shuttle out of the shuttle you know i'm not going to pull that cord down there you know because i need it because i'm i'm still trying to you know make right <laughs> with the mallard i don't want to accidentally take something i shouldn't um so i'll take the momentum hit on that okay so, all right so yep so you pull the kit out of the shuttle, and basically, yeah, it's just going to be uh, a, a bit of time for you to have to go and get this thing set up. Okay. So, I guess... Up here somewhere. What does this look like? You guys, like, uh, pull everything to get, like, uh, start uh, grabbing everything, or uh, uh, helping Nails get the stuff off the shuttle, and then after that, you guys just head off into the sky? Sure. All right, so uh, you guys are heading for the ship, correct? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I guess. Yep. Mostly uneventful flight up there. Um, obviously, you know, it's going to be like probably like 40 minutes to an hour to get up there. I don't know. I don't know how fast the shuttle moves going out of atmosphere to where you guys have the shuttle parked in orbit. Or not mm-hmm. the shuttle, but the... Uh, ship. The ship sure. in orbit, Wayfinder 7. But, uh, all right, so after you guys get the shuttle docked, um, what do you do? Well, we got uh, two things that we probably want to do, which is um, start reading our communications and radar and other uh, sort of uh, passive sensors. Uh, we're listening for any kind of traffic in the system um, that might indicate uh, something useful. And we want Algo to go through the records of um, the colony computers here uh, to see if 
we can dig up anything that might still be in space that, that they knew about. Mm -hmm. While that's going on, I'm also going to keep an eye on that uh, meteor satellite from up here uh, because I'm very interested in that technology as well. All right. So that sounds like that is going to be a few different areas of investigation. Yep. Uh, which one do you want to start? Uh, I think let's get the data collection started first. All right. Uh, that one is going to benefit from Algo. Um, so let's take a quick look. Did you get Go that on. asset moved over onto the Wayfinder someplace so people can see or just put it on everybody? It's on everybody's sheet. Cool. Hey, do so I the Overseer see? says secure an advantage or gain ground, but does not say gather information. It does not. So, so on, on the other hand, um, if Blaze wants to secure an advantage for me somehow, that would qualify, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. So tell cool. me how a religious spacer goes about listening for this stuff. Um, and if you want, Dave, you can roll the you can roll with Algo's. Uh, good grief! What is it? The uh, his asset. Yeah. Well, yeah. That would be. Are you rolling with supply? What are you rolling with? You roll with the ship's integrity. Which I should be at plus four or better right now. Yeah, it's a yeah. uh, five. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. So that's that's if you do it by having a conversation, you know, with the with Algo, then you can roll the Algo's integrity for this. For this. Yeah, yeah, and I. That's kind of a fun thing to do anyway. Just, just, just to kind of riff off of what what Margie was doing a minute ago, I don't yet have the the additional tick for the sensor array um, asset that I added to the ship to like, you know, secure advantages and stuff like that. But that's kind of the direction I would be looking to do here um, if I'm working with Algo and essentially the ship's sensors to try to, to uh, start looking for the... Is this... I'm sorry, are we doing the looking for the traffic thing? Or are we... Is this the Algo searching for records? No, we're, 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 we're looking for traffic. Okay. okay. So that should be, I, that should be pretty straightforward. So if, if I'm making use of Algo for that... Um, talking with him saying okay so you know we're this is what we're gonna do vis-a-vis -vis, you know kind of you know navigation uh dividing up dividing up the sector here's the sort of things we're gonna be looking for the the systems we have on board here's um, what things look like after a couple of generations of cosmic drift yeah. right um so here's the sort of here's the sort of orbits they might have gotten knocked into um Assume. Do you have like a mystic, uh, you know, search algorithm that you use, and <laughs> you know, looking for the truth and the spot is so much yeah, part of you? Yeah, I'm not going to make use of those right now because we've, we're already making use of Algo to secure the advantage for the actual search role. So, uh, and I and I'm perfectly okay with that. All right. So, um, I would say the easiest way to do it is just to. Uh, oh yeah, we don't have uh, uh, like roll your own health on your character sheet because it's the same value as uh, the uh, ships. Yeah. Okay. Integrity. Um, yeah. yeah. And are we getting any modifiers off of that? Uh, you get plus one momentum on a hit, but there's okay. no bonus. Okay. Lovely. All right. Woo. So, yep. So between you and Elgo, you're able to. Uh, feed a whole lot of pertinent data over uh, to Cortex uh, to help in Cortex's search. Uh, so, Bill, this sounds, based on what you're doing, it sounds like you're trying to gather some information here. Yep. Uh, you get the plus two momentum uh, from that, as well as plus one to your roll. All right. And uh, on the shuttle write up, I think um, that Cortex is also probably going to explain to Blaze like why we're kind of doing this right now at this moment. Um, and and he'll explain why he didn't talk about this before. So look, um, we're, we're writing a lot of checks here that we're asking Astra to cash. You know, we're, we're, we're talking about, hey, we got all this medical technology. You can come, you know, uh, get your people healed from us. Hey, we'll bring you some of these resources. Hey, we're gonna take you out of this, you know, terrible living situation that you're in. We're gonna take you back to paradise. You know, I, I know you remember what Astrid's like. It's just been a few days, but uh, we aren't doing so good ourselves. Um, and I'm really getting concerned about uh, not only setting people's kind of hopes up, but also how much of this we can actually deliver on. So 
what I'm looking for here, what I think is really important is that we have something that we can bring back from Pharos to justify all this expenditure and justify the, you know, people putting all this effort out for us on our say so. Uh, if we don't have something that we can come back with and say, yeah, this trip is worth it, uh, we're going to look pretty bad and I don't think we're going to be able to deliver on the, the help that these people need. You know what I'm saying? Yes. yes. So we got to find something here that Astrid does not need, have and Astrid needs. And uh, I'm hoping that it's going to be out in the system here because that plan is a goddamn loss. Pardon my French, Padre. You don't want to bring a bunch I, of skates back home? Yeah, we should avoid that. But I, I, I think if we can... I think if we can get things back up and working, that it can be, you know, it can provide value to to Astrid just in, you know, what they were originally starting to do and whatever, you know, mining stuff they can do on the world and, and things of that sort. But I agree if we can if we can show like, hey, this system has lots of this or, hey, we found this cool thing there. Maybe there's more stuff there you know let's you know let's get an expedition mounted to to search for it here that'll be of help to the uh the people here on on pharaohs right on all right well thank god for the momentum because i'm gonna burn that shit all right so all right so you are looking for something anything of value i mean more specifically what we're looking for is evidence of uh either other ships or habitation or habitats um in the system but yeah any, anything will do in, in other ancient tech. Honestly, anything we'll, we'll do at this point. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, right. I mean, you know, if, if there was something that's been here since the gates went down, it would probably still be of value. Something that dates back to the gates and the meteor shield would be of value, more so. Um, hell, a, a giant, you know, a giant uranium-rich asteroid would probably be of value. I don't know. That definitely... That definitely sounds like a thing. So, give me one moment, because I actually have some tables to roll on. Ooh. Because, um, yes, that it, that covers these sort of things. Um, which, by the way, if uh, you guys have been uh, watching, uh, the uh, Kickstarter for uh, Starforged went live oh. uh, yesterday. Uh, nice. And everything I've seen has been Sean Tompkins freaking out quite a bit. Because uh, he was not expecting um, how quickly people would be uh, uh, excited over this. All over. Because if business. you remember, uh, there wasn't a uh, there wasn't a uh, Kickstarter for the base game. Like he literally just released that out into the wild. Yeah, he did one for Delve, but not for the. Yeah, well, it's a uh, it's day two, and he has one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. It's solid. Yep. I keep mm -hmm. running into things that he's tweaked between Iron Sworn and, and Starforge, and I'm really hoping that some of that leaks back into the uh, original game as well, in terms of like once he's done with Starforge, kind of coming back maybe for a second edition or something. That's true. Um, although, backporting some of that stuff, not the hardest. No, not at all. I, I'm doing it anyway. It's just, you know, you want it all in the next right. book. Yeah. Hey. I do. Uh, I too do that, but I need to do more of it. Oh, sorry for that little uh, aside. That was a PSA. That's not an aside. Oh, do your tables, sir. Do your worst. Yeah. Well, mostly I was also killing a lot of time because it's like I know that these tables exist. I rolled on them once before. <laughs> well, that, that, that was how I. That was part of how I got Astrid set up in the first place. Yeah, I'm gonna have to back this one pretty hard mm -hmm. unfortunately well, for my pocketbook well it, banging it pretty hard is not that bad i think i got the deluxe and it's like 70 dollars yeah which you know for, for kickstarter I mean, kickstarters can get kind of crazy as to what but what this is like you know hardcover rule book wire bound reference guide oh yes oh yes oh, yeah. why don't they all yeah. come with that <laughs> yeah a lot of these are like okay I'm going to tell you right now, uh, who wants to take a guess with the last Kickstarter or how much I spent on the last Kickstarter I backed? I mean, <laughs> I, I don't want to guess. I'm scared. So, $375. Ooh, Admittedly, it's, it's a miniatures game. I mean, oh, it, yeah. was going to be, it was going to be expensive no matter what. Yeah. Is, is it all pretty? It is very pretty. I have uh, <laughs> loved the models that they have released so far. 
I, I can't remember what Dave and I were looking at. Oh, we were at Enchanted Grounds and we saw something and we both looked at each other and said, Oh, that looks like a mic game. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that I have a... Uh... <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that I have a... a, a you have a, a type. type. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, you, 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 you're able... Uh, once you're out there in in space, one, here's your... Uh, uh, you're going to actually get started on your vow now, uh, 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 Bill. But uh, uh, you're, you're, you're able to actually go, like, into some fairly in-depth scans. Um, the first, you know, the first hits that come back are definitely like, okay, I expected this. We got some, uh, mineral dense, uh, asteroids, uh, nearby. Uh, you also have some that are actually, uh, 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 containing quite a bit of frozen water, which is actually not the worst thing in the world. Uh, land a few of those, you might be able to make a lake on the planet. Mm. Uh, which would definitely be pretty good given the uh, the the Mad Max aesthetic that's going on right now. Oh, good. Um, we'll end up with the postman instead. Um, well, as long as you don't wind up with water. Um, that's what I was thinking of, water world. <laughs> um, however, uh, you do get one very large anomalous uh, 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 reading. And as you go into it, it seems to be a fairly large uh, 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 spacecraft. Ooh. However, uh, it seems to be completely inactive. You're not sure of what its status is right now. Um, however, there's unfortunate news. Um, it's slowly drifting towards the sun. Define I mean, slowly. If it's been defunct for a hundred years, it's probably not going to drop into the sun tomorrow. Um, Are we no. going to be working on it very close to the sun, which is not great? Yeah, that's the that's the unfortunate point. Uh, it's already not going to be pleasant for you guys. Um, however, in about a week, it's going to be into a particular band of, uh, you know, closeness to the star uh, that Algo, you know, says is... Uh, yeah, he he, he 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 cannot in good conscience allow you to fly the ship that close to the star. <laughs> nice. Um, you guys still can, but he doesn't want you to do it. We would have a much smoother exterior hi, hi, after that. Hi, highly uh, not recommended. Uh huh. However, on a final note, there is another um, particular. Uh, 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 reading. And you only just got this. Because uh, as Elgo and uh, 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 Cortex are looking this over, you know, you're like, yeah, it's nothing. Let's keep moving. Blaze, this, 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 like, this confuses you. Space is a whole lot of nothing. But it's not nothing, nothing. There are mm -hmm. still things. You'll get reading, you know. The, the empty vacuum of space still is going to have something that it's going to give you. Even if it's just, you know, isolated radio waves. I, I was going to use happened. the same example. I was like, yeah, yeah. it's three radio waves. Uh... Yeah, yeah. You'll get something. You won't get a big gap of nothing. Hmm. But on the, uh, on the very edge of the solar system, uh, even past out the uh, past the orbit of uh, of the gates. Uh, yeah, you have a sector that is just nothing. That's either something pretending to be nothing, or s there was something there that made a whole lot of nothing unpleasantly. Yeah, yeah. So uh, <laughs> it, 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 it could have been pleasant. Let's not be pessimistic. I mean, but yeah. I there aren't a lot of pleasant ways to turn something into absolutely nothing. Help! <laughs> Help! Sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. I was, I was just gonna make a joke. Go ahead. Um, how big, relatively speaking, is that ship that we picked up? Um, it is, um, it is larger than the Wayfinder, but only, only just so. Wayfinder's pretty goddamn big. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. So this definitely was like, you know, a capital ship at one point, most likely. You do, know. Do, do we? Ha I mean, do we have any sense of, you know? This is 100 years old, or this is 100,000 years old? You know, I, I, I also have a thing for that. 
Uh, let's take a look. Ranged carbon dating gun. We can take spect spectroscopic readings off the hull. Sure, absolutely. And then it shoots back at us. You fired a laser at us. I mean, <laughs> technically everything is a radio. One <laughs> tight beam radio communications are technically firing lasers at each other. Just, just one ping, please. One ping only. So we'll, while we're waiting for the table, I'll, I'll start singing, I've got plenty of nothing. I I was already thinking that. Oh, I got plenty of nothing, <laughs> and nothing nothing's plenty for me. me. Wow. There's a bunch of uh, heathens, not the word I'm looking for. I mean, no. heathens are close enough. Uncultured. But Uncultured. Uncultured swine. All right. So, um, yeah, this is going to have been like... Uh, um, this would have been like from a few hundred years uh, from before uh, the gate shut down. So it would have been after the. So it's it's not like the same tech as the satellite, which is gate tech. This would right. be. No, this is definitely something. Modern tech. This would have been something you guys would have made. Okay. And you know well. this, because uh, it's a habitat ship. Oh dear. I mean, oh my. That's. Mm. We're okay. Back me up on that. Back up on this just a little bit. Help me reconstruct this. The habitat ships were the ships that didn't use the gates initially, or they did use the gates. We're not talking like colony ships. Gen generation are you long ships? ships? Yeah. We're not, we're not talking generation ships. Are we talking? Or are we talking generation ships? No, this one. Um, so you you know how the way uh, the wayfinder used to be basically like a station, space mall basically. Yeah. Sure. Um, this falls into that same category. So where so people would it, have long term would... lived there, most likely. Somewhere between a ship and a space station. Uh huh. Gotcha. Whatever it was previously. I mean, that is a lot of hardware, regardless of whether or not it's functional. That is a lot of hardware. Uh huh. Your, your and, little and scavenger heart is going to the pat. Well, get, yeah, get... that. I mean, and if it's if it's uh. If it, if it was used in the way the Wayfinder was once upon a time, it may have the the gear to gate activate. If nothing else, it's mm -hmm. a whole lot of real estate, Spa mm -hmm. space worthy, theoretically space worthy real estate. That's all. That's a that is a good get. If you guys can get it, get it. Towing it out of the gravity well of the uh, uh, of the uh, star. Yeah, it just needs a might nudge. might be difficult. A little, little nudge. That's a pro problem in physics. It's, yeah. Little shoulder bump. Little we're we're not going to drag it directly out. We're just going to kind of nudge it. So. Little, little hip check. Yeah, yeah. This might be well, something you guys can handle. Yeah. So, question about that. Uh, the satellite deflects meteors, right? Ooh. Yes, it does. If we scale that tech up, can it deflect ships? Um, gently. Yes. It might be it a range issue. It definitely. Yeah, I was going to say, there's definitely a range issue. Uh, like we have to get over there, obviously, but. Um, are are, 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 are are you thinking of trying to set up the same stuff as the satellite, but on the Wayfinder? Yep. Okay. That definitely sounds like a project. Repulsed. I like it. I'll make the sound effect. That's all I can contribute. Right. So I've already got um, a vow for a fire force field screen tech like the Faro satellite. Um, I've got a vow for get a line on ships or other space tech. Have I just made progress on that? I believe so. Okay. Um, and I've already got progress on the on the other one to, to, to get this tech. Um, let's see. So I'll ask Blaze. What's that? Oh, I'm talking to the cat who is trying to get in my face. The cat may have some suggestions for how to proceed here, actually. Um, <laughs> so I'll, I'll explain this plan to Blaze, and I'll get in touch with people on the surface and be like, um, how done are we with um, solving the planet's problems? Because I think we got a thing. Can try to kind of fast forward it, but uh, cut to the planet and trying to solve the planet's problem. Like, yeah, like let's let's see some scenes for you folks, and then that call can come in. Like, that's... Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Like um, so, Doyce, you haven't been around. Yes, sir. Um, well, I was eavesdropping. Yeah. I'm pretty well up to speed okay. on what all was going on. Okay. So you know that um, Nails was down on planet side. I was going to say elbow deep in skate guts, but, you know, that might not be. Twitching well, skate guts. Twitching skate guts. All right. Um, Doys, uh, do, you, yeah. do you think that uh, 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 Earl would be down on the planet still? with? Oh, him? I would definitely be down on the planet. I have stuff. Uh, everything that I need to do is down here right now. Um, in, in the control room? 
No, not in the control room. I need to, oh god, I hate saying these words in this order. Um I need to I need to talk to Faith. Uh for several reasons, but I need to talk to Faith and there's some tech stuff I need to do here at uh, Mariposa. Both. So All right. So, let's let's start here. What do you need to talk to Faith about? Well, um I have well I'd, I'm I'm opening up channels for a peace offering kind of thing. Now she, she brought over the twitching skate guts. I don't know if she went back to the... I might have to, like, let time pass, narratively speaking, or if she went back to sort of her, I don't know, office or whatever, I might trail her back that general direction or whatever, but... Well, let me, uh, let me, let me set you up a, a particular scene here. Okay. I think I know where you're going here. Yeah. So, um, Nails had to unload quite a bit of, uh, uh, biotech off, right. of the sh off the shuttle and is having to set it up basically on the outskirts of the crater here. Okay. And I'll certainly so, help with that if that fits in yeah. and do that. Just kind of help with so, the assembly and yeah. whatnot. Yeah, so Earl will, can help out with that. And I imagine at some point, uh, after you guys have kind of finished assembling this, this you know, uh, 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 Sensors all these and uh, scanners yeah, and whatnot. All these uh, pieces of equipment uh, that Faith might, you know, kind of wander, wander over, by. yeah, to basically see how things are going, because they are quite interested in like, okay, is this all we need to be worried about? Can we not eat it? Should we not eat it? Is it something that might be valuable for things other than eating? You know, help me out here. <laughs> I love that eating is, you know, always sort of, you know, wow. the survivalists in them. Can we eat it? <coughs> okay. If we can't eat it, is it worth something? Is it worth something? Yeah. yeah. Meat that doesn't nope. die is potentially useful, but uh, yeah. It could also lead to a zombie outbreak. Who knows? So I'm, I'm kind of letting, like, at the time that Faith comes by, I'm sort of up on the lip and, you know, double checking connections and that kind of thing and she asked me to flip a switch or something like that I, i'm not at this point in time i'm sort of you know holding the tool set for dad kind of deal i'm not really um okay. doing stuff per se i'm i'm i have done my assistant stuff so when faith kind of comes by you know I'm, a bit of small talk here it's like it look like we got everything set up there uh, she's doing a, getting a read on the meteor make sure that it's not the reason the thing is still twitching you know all that kind of good stuff um and and keeping it really really i'm not obviously dumbing it down but i'm keeping it very straightforward very very real talk as far as what the tech does or anything like that not no no techno babble no jargon you know this thing scans that bit down there this thing scans those rocks over there we're gonna run a little juice through this thing and see if we can get the muscles twitch. It might just be that it's just twitching like anything does if you, you know, leave a leave a rock buried in its nervous system. Who knows? Uh, and I'm just kind of explaining a little bit. So you, you know what? Uh, actually, we unpacked a bunch of stuff from the shuttle. Reminded me, we got a, a few things on the shuttle there for you specifically. If you if you got a minute. Yeah. Faith is both curious and wary. I mean, but, they have but, had to punch you a few times. I, so. I mean, to be fair, they've always succeeded at punching me, so their wariness should be relatively low. I'm not going to... That is true. You do they, have they, a punch. They know they can punch you, so they shouldn't worry about punching you? Eminently punchable. It's not that I should, they should worry. It's just I'm, I, I, probably don't, I probably don't hit ping the radar as a threat. In any case, if they're willing to come along, I'll, I'll you know, make, you know, kind of give nails a bit of a high sign and just let him know I'm going to head out here for a second head back to the shuttle uh, well you guys uh, don't the, have a shuttle ship. the shuttle is up at the ship with us uh, well so, parts that we unloaded yeah, from the shuttle before you took yeah, off to the then. crate yeah. where we took off Yeah, you got a crate to open I got a couple crates I got a couple crates to open uh, first crate got a little uh, banged up when the last bit of business happened here but uh, w you know we were back over at Navarra and earlier Man, should get some of the databases back online. Check out the history of everything that happened on the planet here. That was useful and eye-opening. Uh, love it. You know, surely like to get you caught up on on some of that and you know, kind of where everything came from originally here on the on the, on Pharos and all that. But uh, found a couple of other uh, kind of useful things here. But anyway, uh, data, the, all their knowledge base and everything like that's pretty much online. I got it hooked up to a pretty good antenna and he, i flip open the first crate i said you know this one here uh pretty much the same kind of deal 
set it up on a good high point here, maybe on top of that building over there and point it in the right direction. Get you access to everything over there too, so you can go uh, dig and get access to all the same uh, information that they got over at Navarre. And everything, really, anything Lincoln's going to have access to too. Anything they know, you'll know, uh, which is nice. Uh, if you're if you're interested, you can get that thing, get up there, and I'll climb up there and get that set up for you. I thought you might be a little bit more interested in this, and I pull out the uh, the real good hooch, the uh, that we had. Um, I think I did a secure advantage for or something like that yep. last last time to kind of pull all that stuff together. You yeah. Gotta. Uh, no, you checked your gear for it. Oh, check the gear. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Well, I found this as a. Well, I'll be honest, a bit of a peace offering. We got off on the wrong foot, and I thought uh, it may be nice to, uh, you know, drink a peace offering. And when this runs out, I got this uh, completely mediocre hooch that we managed to make pretty decent with the water filtration f filltration unit. <laughs> so, Joyce, let me, let me ask you a thing. Yeah. Uh, are, are, since you brought up, uh, do you want to attempt to use this as, you know, these gifts as... You know, to secure an advantage leading up into... Abso-freaking-lutely. Um, All right. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> or, is, or is it more of a face danger? Well, I mean... <laughs> that's always a, that's a, always what's right here. A, a faith, faith danger? Faith, 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 I want a faith danger. Um, yeah, what I'm, well, I'm ultimately, I mean, just put like put signposts up for everything. I've got a... Um, my I've got a, my... One of my vows is getting Shackleton, excuse me, and Mariposa connected to the Navarin Knowledge Vaults. Mm -hmm. That's just technical stuff. Although if, if Faith, you know, decides to give me some help on that, that or you know, get some of her people to help on that, I certainly wouldn't turn it down. That's one of it. But we also have just on the Wayfinder the uh, the sort of the group thing of establishing healthy cooperation between the settlements, and that's that's really where I'm trying to make some headway on mm -hmm. um, because we're not far enough along on that, at least for me. So. Uh, so that's all part of that. But yeah, securing advantage sounds lovely. Um, so this definitely sounds like the sociable uh, side of things. Yeah. If you have something else that you want to try, uh, feel free. No, that's Otherwise, fine. I, I, I mean to do it with heart. That's absolutely... Um, yeah, so go ahead and make that heart roll. Okay. Too bad she's not in the space-bound uh, uh, colony. Anyway, heart. <laughs> where did Earl's thing go? No bonds here. <laughs> Oh, but I'll take that weak hit, I think. Uh, I am. That's a plus one to your next roll. It's a which, Yeah, I'll definitely take that. Or you can momentum up to ten. Uh, mm, I'd rather take the plus one on the next roll. All um, right. Because what I'm doing in some way, shape, or form is I'm I'm trying to do. The, I'm, mm, what is the roll? Can, can I can I use this to form a bond? That's. Uh, well, it's not form a bond. It's make a connection. Make a connection. Sorry. Yeah wrong yep, game yep so you've you've you, you you've you've greased the wheel yeah uh, or with some uh, uh yeah. with some liquor with, with I gifts mean, and liquor let's see a how plus one works. on my roll or a 10 on my on my on my momentum going into the roll what what says the what says the the peanut gallery my momentum's currently an eight kick my momentum up to a 10 or leave it at an eight and take a plus one on the roll my heart's a two i feel like that's super. i'm kind of kind of thinking the momentum doesn't that make more sense because momentum guarantees it yeah well no yeah. it doesn't guarantee well, anything because i can roll double tens i have established that cap that capacity with my dice but it does make it a little bit less yeah i'll okay. go i'll go with the 10 on the momentum just yeah for what's worth um the plus two momentum does not expire after the roll has been that's an sure. excellent point that's it's an excellent the, point if i don't need it one is even yeah. more so yeah yeah if I don't need it, then uh, uh, suddenly I'm Dave. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, all right. So heart going yep. into making a connection with mm -hmm. the hooch, and I'll I'll already... I'll sit there right on the crate and throw out a couple of little collapsible uh, uh, shot glasses and and pour out the hooch, um, the good hooch, right there and see what she she if she takes it. Oh my! I, I like that momentum. I mean, I like that momentum a whole lot. I am definitely burning that pitch right now because. <laughs> Oh my god, the dice. Alright, that's cool, that's cool. I'm gonna burn that for the strong hit. Um, Alright, so you burn that and uh yeah, you, you can definitely Yeah, you can definitely tell that uh you know Faith is kinda like very weary about all this. It's just like, alright, what's the catch? Well it I think 
since I'm burning the momentum, I think it's worth, like, the thing that tips it over is the fact that I've obviously put a lot of effort into this. I mean, it's not going to not be obvious. I mean, I dug up good hooch. I'm like, you know, brought a whole nother crate worth of electronics to get this thing set up. And, you know, if she hesitates, the final thing is like, listen, I'm we're leaving. We're going to be back and forth through this, state, this system, other systems. We got a job and it's getting the gates back up. I'm not trying to get an angle. I'm not trying to take anything. We're not trying to take anything over. We're not trying to tip the balance of power. We're trying to get you back on your feet. You know, if we're trying to tip anything, we're trying to tip you upright. That's all it is. That's all this is. Now, it, I know it can look weird when you have somebody reaching a handout and all they've ever, all it usually has is a knife in it. That ain't us. That ain't me. So, yeah, we got off on the wrong foot, but I, I'd like to think it was because of uh, misunderstandings, not because, you know, I, I'm, you know, we're sitting here with some sort of ulterior motive. We... We're, we're all in this, ultimately, eventually, together, because there ain't any of us going to make it too long if the gates stay down. And we get all of that going the right direction if we're all functional. That's all this is. And that, right. I'm not, that's not, that's just that last, hopefully the last little thing that gets her to take a, you know, the, to, you know, take the offered cup, so to speak. Yep. And that's, that's basically all you get is like, taste, taste the cup. <laughs> Doesn't say anything in reply to all that. It's just like, taste the cup, takes the drink, hands back the cup. And it's just like, that's not bad. I, that, that was my thinking as well. Uh, I'll be honest. <laughs> she doesn't hit you. I'll be honest. I only, I only ever got to drink this one other time. And I'm, I, I, I got, I got in trouble for getting into the, into the, uh, uh, stash of the, of the ship that I was stationed on at the time. The fact that they put some along with us, uh, to bring over as, uh, various peace offerings and stuff. I, I, I'm willing to be an ambassador to a lot of different places if I can take another drink along with you. Um, you want me to go, can we, can we, uh, you help me with this crate. I'll show you where it gets hooked up and everything. Fine. Let's do this. All right. So Who's, you want to carry the bottle? No. All right. So, Faith, Faith, Faith helps with the crate, which is definitely uh, more than what you've gotten in the past. Absolutely, and I will open. I'll open up the crates. Like you know, I mentioned I've showed the dishes before, but they're kind of all in parts. There's like little foam moldings and stuff in there, so like foam in there. So I'll find some place where I can tuck the couple bottles in there, and we get the thing over and, and get it hauled up. So um, connection to Faith, raid leader. I like that. Yeah. Um, you. you you, yeah, you now have a uh, a formidable connection with Faith. Ah, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to get it moving, but that's all right. Um, yeah. that, that is definitely a one where you're like, eh, we got to six. Six is good. Feels good to me. Feels good to anybody else. Feels good to me. Um, okay, so that is hopefully uh, moving along on uh, the... What am I looking at? The Wayfinder. Oh, um, bonds. Not bonds. Bows. Yeah. Um, establish healthy connection between the settlements. Can I? Can we dick tick that thing a, a notch? Yeah, I'm I'm ticking it as we speak. Excellent. Because I feel like that is definitely definitely a thing. Um, and also, then, I'm, go I'm, ahead. I was gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say this now, just because I'm going to forget it when next time it comes up. Mm -hmm. uh, but the next time you guys run into uh, uh, Shackleton. Yep. Um, yeah. Got to Leslie is going to be all L sorts L of excited to hear that, you know, you guys have made friends with uh, uh, Faith and that, Faith. you know, yeah, and that the uh, Mariposans are actually going to be assisting in everything uh, because that was uh, Leslie's last uh, particular. That was the complication yep. on yep. the other vow that. Uh, yep. Uh, which got, means everybody can yeah. make a can make two ticks on their bonds track right now or when that happens right now because i'm gonna forget later all right two ticks on the bonds track gotcha. on your individual sheets yep i was in the wrong place speaking of um, for leslie i right don't now, have a bonds track oh it's under it's under the progress oh it's, it's oh the, gotcha it's on gotcha. the progress tab yeah i had i did the same thing i was going like Whoa. yeah Ooh, one whole box full down. Okay, cool. oh do you have a full box have a bull box that's two xp Ooh, sweet. Love it. Oh, all right. That was the other reason. What, 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 what do things cost? Um, <laughs> upgrading takes two XP. Buying a new one costs three. Okay, cool. Lovely. Anyway. Um, the only other thing I wanted to do is once we get everything over there, I'd like to get the dish hooked up and like talking and stuff, which I think is a, uh, that's going to be a, a face danger probably to get. That this. is a face danger based on your 
scavenge move, basically. Oh, yeah, let me look at that real quick. Uh, I believe that would work here. Uh, yeah, by the scavenge way, is you're... weird, because I gotta... Yeah, let me look. Well, I'll look at... looking that up. Yeah. Um, so, right now, uh, Leslie is a curious shut-in, which could describe any number of the Shackleton folk. Uh, do you guys want to add another, you know, do you want to broaden out Leslie or do you want Leslie to be focused? Uh, basically, do you want do you want her to, uh, whenever you go to her, give plus one to many things? Or do you want to bump that up to where she gives a plus two? I, I mostly want Leslie to be well fed and not afraid anymore. So... I don't her. see that on the advancement list, but we can. We well, can well, but I, I, from... think, I think <laughs> leader, actually... leadership is another thing that we're hoping to to put in here because there's there are no leaders in Shackleton. Yeah, so... I've, I've got I've got that vow to have Shackleton kind of you know be autonomous, stand on its stand on its own <laughs> within the framework of this planet, and not be like you know dependent on you know, the voice of the robot or the voice of whoever is in, in charge. Well, and and I will remind you, you all did leave Leslie with old Nan. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Which <laughs> we can, uh, Leslie, as the curious, I like taking curious shut-in and turning it into, uh, you know, driven introvert or something like that, you know, not necessarily, just upgrading the... Uh, little, little backbone in there. Yeah. You know, goes all from right. curious shut-in to driven introvert. She, she gets so much done when nobody's around. Or when I she like can it. ignore everybody. Yeah. Uh, you know, policy wonk. Um, okay. I'm not sure. The thing is with the um, the, the face danger to under um, my asset is more like cobbling together something that then helps with something else. It's still a face danger move, but I guess. You know what? I, I actually, I'm going to treat this like a cobble together because I'm going to use that plus. On a hit, you may uh, add plus one, make a move aided by the item. I'm going to use that when I get over to Shackleton and get everything all locked together. So yeah, this is going to be me. Um, You're getting this thing set up so that later it'll be easier to set the next thing up. Yes. That sounds about and, right. And can I help, help, help yeah, with that? I mean, you have, yeah, actually. Um, I do have that thing. I'll get on the radio. Yeah, I'll get on the you know, radio over you. Hey, if you're uh, done uh, poking the thing, I could use a little help getting this dish set up so they can, they can talk back over to Navarin. So right. I, I, I'm assuming I have enough samples and we can do those rolls later. So, yep. yep. Well, yeah, right now you're probably in that point where it's just like, okay, now to let the samples bake. Lovely. Yeah. Like, take, okay. take, take a little bit of time so you can go do something. And, and I, I am once, once again, you know, providing the lift heavy things hold heavy things move heavy things i have a very specific take, uh take uh, these cables and hold them over here get this thing up on the roof and i like there's a bunch of basically cinder blocks up there and then the antenna and the antenna is not especially heavy but you've got to like hold it fairly precisely and like moving around the rabbit ears while dad checks the signal on the on the on the screen right yeah. You're doing that thing, and then, like, okay, get that one and hold it at that height, and then you're, like, dragging the cinder blocks you're, over. Are you playing, with your... uh, like, yeah, I'm, I'm, you're making me play Twister with cinder blocks. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, drag, uh, dragging hold, them into the right place with your foot to get it leveled off while I'm down, like, in a building shouting through an open window. Whatever you just work. did, whatever you just did, don't do that again. Put it right back where it was about 10 seconds. Oh, yeah, right there, right there. Now hold that. Just okay. Can you level that off? I, I will say, Margie, this this is the one time. Like, iron's definitely fine. This is the one time Edge might have been <laughs> worthwhile. <laughs> yeah, but but iron makes it. Yep. So, um, which 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 do you want to give? Do you want to give momentum, or do you want to give a plus one to his roll? Uh, what do you want? Uh, the momentum. You... How much momentum do you hand off? Two. Two. I think you're off however, plus one. however, Margie gets. Uh, I also get a tick. On yeah. Momentum. yeah. I mean, I'd like to get my my momentum out of the basement right now, but I'll take the plus one on the on the face danger for this because I really want Mar I really want to lock Mariposa down. Well, and and that that's something that I'm really, you know, it's it's on my list to do too, which is. Yeah, I'll well, take the. I'll, thing, if you get a strong hit, you get momentum anyway. Yeah, I'll take the plus one okay. and do my face danger, which I think should be wits. Yep, probably sounds likely with All your right. plus one. Wits and the plus one. 
Oh, actually, before before you get started, mm? since this is Fate's Town, mm. Ooh. do you want to do you want to leverage Fate to kind of like figure out the best place to get this set up? Yeah. Oh, I actually think that we have even better than that because we have um, um we also have um, Brutus, Goofus, um, and Gallant, Elijah. You took him off the, you took him off the thing. Yeah, Elijah. No, he's over there in Mariposa. He's over there. I'm not sure. I, I'll, I'll leverage Faith. I'm not he, sure if I'm not sure if Elijah was, is necessarily. I was gonna say he went to Mariposa with you guys, but no, I mean he's he's he's, he's on the list like of Mariposans oh, yeah. on the on right. The we have a bond with him, and he's with us at the scape. And he but, is a goon. Lifting heavy things does fall under a goon. But if we no, the condition of if uh, we uh, use Faith is, uh, and then we get a success, then it it increases our bond. It does increase your connection with faith if you leverage faith's, you know, abilities. Yeah, let's do that. While we do that, she'll yeah. tell us where there's a, a weak beam support that we have to watch out for. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Or like the best building to put it on clear, top of clear line of sight to the uh, east. Yeah. 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 Or west. Where, oh, where, yeah. where people will most easily be able to access the terminal. Listen, oh, or don't put it there. That's that's right in the way of where they do the target practice. Which line of sight? Well, which the week. What's the line of sight you need? Yeah, okay, yeah. You, you, the, the high building looks good, but we get wind out here. You need to have it down a little bit. Put it over there, and then you get the shelter from this other building. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Um, cool. Yeah, I'll take the... Uh, so it's two. I'll, so adding two. I, l I like yeah. adding two. Adding two feels good. Oh. Ooh, hello. Hello, right. match on the challenge dice. I'll take that. Nice. That's good for all of us. Yes, indeed. It is good for all of you. All right. If anybody has any idea, like, I have no strong opinion for that particular uh, opportunity. I do have one in mind, but I'll leave that up to you. Or uh, I'll see if if anything comes immediately to your guys' heads first. Um, I I I have an idea that okay. that by making the connection, because this is the first one we've made, you know, outside of um, Navarin. Navarin. I'm wondering if. When we connect it up, it actually the the you know the, the AI of the systems actually do more than just provide a link, and they start you know actively cooperating with each other. Like, I, like we may it may, may start sending us power, or we, we might not we maybe not saying AI, but like the expert systems here. Like as soon as the Navarin yeah. systems and the Mariposan systems are talking to each other, it's like, oh look, two ha you know two thirds of of a what should be a unified system are actually talking to each other and, you know. It's, in, it's like in the old modem speak, the handshake, right? Yeah. You know? Stuff starts, it, stuff starts. All those like, backed up emails get delivered over to Navarin. <laughs> um, yeah, but what is that? What is that? Well, like, well, I, I love the special effect of like some dead panels and stuff in Mariposa start lighting up and, you know, that kind of thing. It's like, oh, that stuff hasn't been active in, Jesus, ever. Well, well now, uh, well, I'll, I'll tell you what I had in mind because it kind yeah. of falls along that same thing. Because uh -huh. as you guys are getting like everything like set up and everything, uh, I, I could see that just being like you know you telling nails like, okay, move move the antenna three centimeters to the right. But like, what if this blinking light wasn't in my way? What blinking light? <laughs> There's a blinking light on top of this building. Well, that's never blinked before. That, that's never blinked before. Well, no one's ever been up there before. But uh, what I was thinking was, as you guys are doing this, not only do you find like a good spot to put it, but it's also, oh, this particular building actually is getting power from the underground system. Nice. Which means that you guys can give them, you know, not only can you get this whole thing set up, you can give them like power. <laughs> Nice. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, it's just like, oh, yeah, this whole thing was here the entire time. No one knew about it, nor did they have the expertise to deal with it. And now we can look up We can look up what we need to do to get the thing online because we have access to the data. It's but awesome. now you have an Earl. Now we have an Earl, and I can I can hack all kinds of crap together. Um, which, which I feel like is just one of those things where it's just like, you know, at some point, like... Faith will saddle up next to Dan's and just be like, you know, when he's not being an idiot, he's actually quite useful. Isn't he? <laughs> Sing it, sister. That's a, that's a big all, if. All, but all, all he needs to do is just stop talking. <laughs> if I had a nickel. Um... I have considered some solutions to that, but 
All right. Alder so, won't let me. I don't suppose that that lets me uh, do another advance on the uh, Shackleton Mariposa connected thing. Um, you know, uh, I was going to do that as like an additional, uh, you know, yes, we're going to do that just because it's an additional thing. I was also going to do that as an additional uh, thing for faith. Yeah, because I feel like, you know, doing the work to actually give them like, Okay, it gets really cold here at night. Here are some heaters. You plug them nice. in heater, and then you guys are warm. Nice. Oh, this is so much better than building a fire. Love it. So that's faith up on up two ticks. Yep. Love it. All right. Two boxes. Then, two boxes rather. Um. So I have two two ones related to Mariposa mm -hmm. that this can be related to. One was um, help Mariposa find its place in the planetary triumvirate, and the other is. Make Mariposa's vault safe and secure. What vault does Mariposa have? Um, oh, that's the one with the 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 one that the skates yeah. were in originally. The, the, in the, the satellite control room. The satellite you know? control room, yeah. kind of key. Yeah, I, d I don't think this is going to make the the vault safe and secure, but you know, as far as like giving them a place, probably. For sure. Yep. That's cool. Uh, you know, and also since you're at eight, you want to try and finish it. That's what I was thinking. You know, you're at eight. That's a that's a pretty good shot. Across all the fingers, yeah, it is. Yep. So yep. if you want to give that a shot. Okay. All right. So a Take... weak hit on the vamp. Is it a troublesome or a? Uh, dangerous. It's a dangerous. Dangerous. That's cool. Cause then if you just take it, you still get the yep. XP as though it were, or not the XP, but the. Yep. So here here are your options here. Um, so on a weak hit. Um, Basically, dangerous rewards like troublesome on a weak hit. Yeah. Yeah, so you can either just take it as um, you know one tick on your on your quests uh, track, or you can you know we could say that you've realized there's more to be done. Um, but I don't lose any ticks. No, you you uh, have to. Yeah, so you would yeah you would have to do that thing, or you would have to go do that thing. And then you would get two. But some drop off, don't they? When they when you kind of reset it a little bit. Not all of them, but they. No, no, no. It basically it would be like there's further I mean, stuff. In which case that might be its own separate vow. Oh, gotcha. Right. Well, and yeah. like before, when I totally missed it, then that took ticks off. Yeah. Yes. Gotcha. Because of the complication, but as a weak hit. I can just say, okay, I'm going to keep working at this because I want the dangerous, or I can just take it at Troublesome. Correct. And troublesome lets you at least wrap it up so we can get off the rock. And... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking that's not bad, and, and that will actually, I think, you know, yeah. make make it more comfortable for us to, um, you know, click off some of the other stuff. You know, yeah. Well, uh, getting the three working together, right? Sure. I mean, this is... wrapping, wrapping up quests uh, before you leave planet. Not the worst idea. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's take that at troublesome then. Um, All right. And especially since it supports the the group vow of. And not not to be a complete uh uh I don't know. Min maxer. Tick grubbing person. <laughs> it feels like it feels like giving Mariposa the sort of a place in the pecking order would apply would would positively affect faith and her little progress bar that is true you did just complete a quest in service to all right all right yep <laughs> yep well I, I like it i mean all right third tick thank you okay so, so how do i take this how do i resolve right. this then will you take care of that or yeah i will take care of that for you okay since it's on this page though this is gonna be like a blank one in the middle no that's of okay it. it'll get filled up soon enough yeah and, and then, then that's an XP oh, thing? Yep, and then over on here, it goes to a plus. Woohoo! All right. All right. I'll send one Thank message you. of Algo. Will you please let the gentleman know that we are having a pretty good day down here at Mariposa? For once. For once. <laughs> that's right. Nailis hasn't spent any XP. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that'll lead to some fun stuff. Anyway, I, I think once all this is done, and yeah, I think. Earl, once you uh, message up to Algo, it's just like, oh, yeah, I, I I have a message to relay. Are you free right now? Uh, yeah, actually, we're we're about ready. I think we're about ready to uh, head over to Shackleton. Uh, well, we can we can always find more to do around here. I mean, you know what this place is like. Well, actually, you probably don't, but uh, 
we can head over to Shackleton whenever or just uh, help these folks out. We got a little bit more work to do over there, but yeah, what's the what's the message? All right, so, people walk through. <laughs> yeah, yeah, without the shuttle, it is a little bit of a trick, but uh, yeah, so um, Blazing Cortex, um, Nails and uh, Earl have just wrapped up with their stuff. Earl's calling up to the uh, ship, and uh, Algo puts him through. What do you tell him? What, what do you tell him you found? Gents, we've been having a pretty good uh, situation down here. Mariposa is pretty well set up. They've got power on the surface, and they are communicating with Navarin. And, and Faith doesn't hate uh, and Faith Earl Zero and, as much. And Faith ain't punched me once. Okay, so clearly you guys have been drinking too much. You're making stories up now. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you? Are you? Is someone holding a gun at your head? If so, um, cough oh, twice if your life one. is in danger. Yeah, <laughs> I, I want to hear your safe word. My safe word is pour me another. Well, okay. he's like, it's, 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 him. <laughs> we we poured another habitat ship. We found uh, Ooh. We found a sec- we found another ship that's uh, uh, out in the uh, out in the black. Well, all right, temporarily. What do you mean it's temporarily out there? It's kind of heading towards the sun. Well, that ain't helpful. No, no, no. We got a plan. So we're going to round up every piece of information we got in this system. We're going to plug it all into a big computer. And we're going to figure out how this meteor deflection shield works. We're going to make a bigger one. And we're going to tow that ship uh, back into a safe orbit. Well, at least it's simple. I like it. (laughs) He said sarcastically. Um, Hey, but Earl, it means you get off the dirt ball. I am excited about that. But I got to get that other antenna up at, at... at Shackleton. Well, why don't you go Absolutely. do that while we can, while I come down in the shuttle? Because I'm picking everyone up. We're going to get on this. If you well, pick me up and Shackleton. take me over to Shackleton, you want me to get to Shackleton Let's... now and you pick us up there, or are you going to pick us up and get us over there? Uh, I'll come down for you now. Just hang tight. All right. I like that idea a lot better. Okay, so we'll do some more walk. You know, cleaning. Well, I don't even know how far it is. You microwave some of that meat. I'm getting a bit hungry. Yeah. Try to get so... some of the stuff that ain't still twitching. But... A 20 minutes by shuttle, so. Margie, uh, what, what, well, while Nails and Earl are waiting, I think now is a good time for you to find out what you've actually found out. I think that sounds fantastic. So, uh, this is going to be a gather information roll, which is a wits roll. Okay. I know that's not what Nails is great at, but perhaps Earl can assist. It'd be nice to think so, since he's the one that helped me put all the shit together. So, Earl, are you going to help me with this? Oops, I think we lost toys. Sorry, I had to AFK for a second. Say goodnight to That's my okay. lovely wife. Oh, but I am no That's allowed. So, yes. So, you, you going to help me with my role on uh, figuring out what we got here? Yes, I'm... Okay. I mean, no. I looked at... So I, I, I actually have a... Uh, Earl actually has a remarkable uh, history of poking at weird critters. Shit. Weird critters and shit on from planets um Is it, does that add to your like you know disapproval of planets you know, yes like, you've seen a lot of weird that, shit on where planets. the hell do you think it all came from it, yeah but i do have a, a fair amount of uh back history when it comes to uh poking at stuff that looks like it came out of a special effects studio um i am going to uh secure a secure an advantage is that right yep mm-hmm. secure an advantage yeah. with expertise sounds sounds reasonable to read through some data sure look at some papers poke some guts yeah. all right bloop that is a weak hit and it's gonna stay a weak hit yeah that is uh that is both ends of the spectrum right there yeah it really is um That's so and, and in the middle <laughs> would you like would you like uh the the momentum or a plus one on your next move uh well my modem's at four so it's not going to do any good on this next roll so i'll take eh. the plus one i mean a six yeah. isn't terrible but yeah get, but it depends on how bad your dice are i guess let's put it this way if you roll a two but you're being beat by a five and a three the six will help yeah i don't know it's up to you you do it not me well maybe i'll take the advice that 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 we gave you the other day, you know, just the last roll, which is take the momentum. You may not need it. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do I get any kind of advantage from, um, you know, my, my med training on this or mm-hmm. from Elijah's survivalist? Elijah might be able to help. Weird critters. Yeah. Survivalist. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. It's kind of Weird cool critters. Angle. Definitely. definitely that, that's evolved. actually kind of the reason why I, I actually put him to survivalist was because i i see him as the future of the the skate wrangler so uh, it, it is, 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 yeah 
Is he eventually hey. going to be the crocodile Dundee of skates? No, no. Remember, we're, we're going to skate. That's not a skate. <laughs> this is a skate. No, we, we're going to, you know, invent skate farming so we can be profitable with the minerals that they're extracting. Skate pool, remember? Yep. Tell your friends. You gotta tickle him under the chin. He's 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 not he's not the crocodile Dundee. He's the Steve Irwin. <laughs> All right. So that you. does give you plus one to your roll. What a beauty! Okay, let's see if we can look at this. this beauty. Oh. Have you ever seen a skate that big? All right. Weak hit. Weak well, hit. so regardless, it's a weak hit. <laughs> All right. So at the very least, you do learn some stuff, Did and you, you get... also get another momentum. So your momentum was up to seven now. Yep, up to seven. Very cool. So, um, as, as you're kind of like reading through all of this, uh, and kind of like take, you know, taking a look at all, uh, look at all of these things. Um, so first news is don't have to, you know, don't have to worry. It's not tax. They can cook it and eat. Huzzah. Huzzah. Great. Two, um, as you're looking through this, you, you, you do a, you know, Earl kind of like hands you a piece of paper is just like, read this again because I don't think this can be right. So as you take a look at it um, and you're, uh, uh, you know, looking at it, um, the the endless meat is almost exactly what, you know, when Earl made the joke is almost on, on, on he almost hit the nail on the head. Uh, it's, not re it's not regenerating. It's Buddy. Oh, interesting. Like a lizard with its tail pulled off. Yeah, and um, yeah, unfortunately, this is a sign that uh, all these skates are, you know, if all the if all these skates are like this one, uh, somebody's been tampering with their genetics kind of hard. Yeah, hardcore. Actively? Yeah. Like recently? Um, That's a great question. Well, we know that that this wasn't observed when the original, you know, ship landed and they did the survey of the the uh, folks. Yeah, but that was a long while ago. I mean, that yes, was, it was that was back when there were cities all along the. Uh, I'm gonna say equator. It's probably not the right word, but mm -hmm. horizon. Remind line. me again because it's been a while and and I have I have misplaced it in my head. There was like you know exotic materials research lab down in the vault. Yes, there was. Did, did we ever figure out what that was related to? No. No, you did not. Okay. Okay, well, now we know what we need to do next. Well, uh, that's so, legit that I couldn't remember what it was. Good to know. So, Marjorie, that also marks your uh, understanding the biology of the landscape. Yes, so it now, does. You're, you're now six out of ten. All right. If you would like to go for two this session, Feel free. Six is I risky, mean, but it can be done. Six out of ten is risky. Ish. I mean, is it which, which kind of which kind of uh, quest is or vow is it? Troublesome. It's troublesome. Troublesome. You you don't have to follow up on. Yeah. Six uh, out even of, on a weak hit. Yeah. Six out of ten. You have really good odds for a weak hit. I can't remember what they are on six out of ten. On the other hand, if we're doing further investigating into this, which it sounds like we are, yeah, there's probably gonna be yeah. opportunity to add to that. <sighs> I'd leave it. Yeah, I, I think we're going to have one more explorer available for that at the very least. Um, but that that is that is fascinating information. Um, fascinating and trust. Yeah, the fact that landing a meteor on it was not enough to actually like to kill it completely enough that it didn't bud. You know, because because a lot of times you know, animals that can do that, you know, you have to have more than you know. A, a small segment left. Yeah, the shock to the system will died. stop it, which is interesting. Okay, I I'm, think I'm going to wait on that one. Um, yeah, it's perfectly fine. But I do have a, a question because I'm looking at my, my points that I have up there. Because um, I may have spent points but not taken them away. Yes. I Because <laughs> well, I know what I was thinking about doing was... Um, Let's go over to your assets really quick. And I know you haven't spent any points because you don't have a second tick on anything. Right. I was going to add, though, to the to the ship. Um, I know it's there because I saw it. Um, which is... Is it on mine? Yes. Uh, internal refit. So ah, that's what yes. I was going to do. Did, did, did somebody else do this and I missed it? Or did I no. just not take the points away? So 
the reason why you hadn't done it yet is it costs well, three to get three. a new asset. There you go. That's it. I, I put it in, but I didn't take the points out because, yeah. So now we have that. I'll take the three points off. Okay. Internal refit? Oh, on the on the Wayfinder? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. This, this basically lets us um, customize our environment more. And um, it's, it's sort of like check your gear, but for the spaceship. Nice. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was going to say, when you undertake an expedition, dangerous or greater, re-roll any dice for the first leg of your journey, which, getting to re-roll the challenge dice, always nice. True. Yeah. And I sure. like the second one, too. Oh, yeah. Eventually, it's, uh, uh, let's say your vessel is stocked with reserves. When you sacrifice resources and your supply is reduced to zero, first roll integrity instead of marking unprepared. On a strong hit, take plus one supply. So. Okay, cool. So I, I, I was half right. <laughs> all right. And so Thank you guys. all of you guys can add that to your sheet. Or I'll do it later on. Yeah, that's and fine. G given how my next couple of days are going, I might have some free time where data entry might actually be fun. Or it won't. Who knows? These ones aren't that hard, though. They're just big copy-paste. Yeah, pretty much. So, anyway. All right. So, so when Blaze and um, Cortex land back on... Uh, on the settlement to pick you guys up. I think that's probably a nice place to wrap things up for this particular session. Alrighty. Well, I certainly got a lot done. Hopefully you guys feel like you got a lot done too. Well, we know what's happening there. I do, uh, yeah. I only have like the one more roll to make, so uh, down here and then we can get rolling into space and get on uh, get on uh, Cortex thing, which I think is gonna be great. I cannot wait to um, get to space. <laughs> before we like bail out from the ship, especially since it sounds like we're trying to trying to get out of Dodge, since we're going down to uh, Mariposa, um, I do want to grab grab some supplies, which means I'm probably gonna impact our supply value, but some medical supplies for the Mariposans, because I've got a vow for that. No, no. Definitely sounds like a thing. Um, that would be a very quick check your gear, okay. which is rolling the supply of the ship, which is five. Well, that sounds good. Yeah. Get, getting to roll plus five is always good. Oh, wow. Okay. Very nice. All right. Let's try. Um, Dave, you're going oh, to love, get the one in the you're gonna love the, the first part of this. Take plus one momentum. Oh, boy. Woohoo! Uh, however, no, you, you have plentiful... Uh, uh, um, uh, plentiful medical supplies uh, that you aren't going to miss on the ship. Okay. Unless, so, you know, you're stuck out here for another six months to a year. I'm <laughs> sure there's got plenty of medical supplies on that derelict uh, habitat over there. Right? Right, folks? If, right. It's, if it's there, I'll find it. We'll see. Um, so, for the purposes of my vow related to that, which was basically get man some medical supply help. Yep. Yeah. I feel like that is probably another tick on there. Another mark? Okay. That takes me to a six. Are you feeling lucky? I don't know when we're going to get the more medical supplies unless there's stuff stashed down in the vault. Hey, do you want, do you want, do you want this strange bean that mutates living flesh? You work great on the skates. Um, uh, so much sounds, like, sounds like a marvelous, uh, sounds like a marvelous idea. Then he's telling it wrong. Yeah. Um, I'm going to hold off on the on the six. If we're actually going to investigate that lab, there may be some stuff down there that we can apply to this purpose. I'd have a little bit more. We have to check out the lab before we go. So, 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 so something that's not like, you know, the, the mutating beam. All right. Or the, or the bit of uh, alien debris. Okay. So, anything else? I've got one um, thing, I think. Um, if kinda... nothing else, you guys... Most of you guys should have XP right now. I've got one thing um, before we roll out, if that's cool. All right. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to get Elgo on the horn and say, okay, Elgo, we got uh, Mariposa online. They got a whole uh, other set of systems down there, remote lab, all that kind of stuff. I know you got the database to shoot through, but hopefully they'll give you some more information. Keep in mind, this is the control center that apparently accesses that, uh, directly controls that uh, satellite up there. So that might give you a little bit more information. And uh, can you get yourself, um, can you move the ship around? Well, I guess it's move you around. Can you get sort of basically directly above us, getting a nice uh, 
synchronous orbit over here so we can cut down the travel time a little bit. If there's some sort of authorization I, I need to give you to do that as like a crew member or something like that, I'm just going to give it to you. It's silly. You can't just move yourself around. I think you can do that. And what I'm basically doing is opening up whatever uh, authorizations need to happen so we can pilot the ship and buying uh, for the ship the um oh so sorry the over, under the, uh, the overseer, overseer being able, yeah, being yeah able to pilot yeah. it independently yeah the overseer can pilot the vehicle independently when you face danger to hand over temporary control in an emergency or to summon the vehicle remotely you can roll integrity uh if you do take plus one on the head so giving algo basically opening up or unlocking permissions for him to for algo to be able to pilot the ship All right does that i know it's i'm coming at it backwards but i kind of like it um does that give me a tick on helping algo rediscover himself you know what putting a little extra trust in the algo sure well the fact that he's like i can control the ship like i am you know he's got more access to things that he didn't have access to before yeah i feel like it's giving him his body back a little bit or something that sounds like a good thing i like yep. it go ahead and give yourself a take on that Cool. I, I've always wondered what the interior of the sun is like. <laughs> <laughs> well, you couldn't have ample opportunity. Uh, and somebody remind me when it rolls around tomorrow uh, or next time we play. Uh, uh, while I've got Elgo on the horn, I'm going to get his input on uh, uh, best angles and stuff to get um, uh, Shackleton back online and everything like that. So I'm, I'm going to use him to secure an advantage. Uh, but I'm not yep. going to worry about that right now. Worry about it. All right. Rolling. So it sounds like um, for this next session, um, it's probably going to be a little bit of cleanup with Shackleton and maybe with the planet at large. Uh, and then space stuff. Yeah. And if we wanted to, if we wanted to save time at Mariposa, the systems are online at Mariposa. We could sort of algo our way into checking out that that special units lab down there to kind of save us from running around. It's, I mean, it's the same investigation, I guess. We might be able to get it from history as yeah. opposed to the... Yeah, algorithm. We may be able to get it from history instead of in person. Yeah, uh, and that lets okay. us kind of do it while we're flying back over to uh, uh, Shackleton to tie up some loose ends over there, because that should be pretty quick. I've got, I've got, I've got to do a tech roll that I've got a plus one rolling into from that, um, uh, from the cobbling, cobbling together. And we gotta close out our little wallflower, so then we should be able to get out of get get up in space for a bit. Yep, and it definitely sounds like you guys have uh, done a lot of work towards getting some of these things done. So hopefully it'll be cool. Cool, sweet, love it. Right. Excited for the next step.